Hello everyone, and this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 38 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we bought nine magic beans from this fat ass here, and now I've come back with 100 rupees in this episode. Well, 113. You prick. Uh, and chomp, chomp, chomp. We have magic beans! Do you want them? Huh? Huh? 100 rupees for one piece. Yeah! I don't know why I read that. I read that in the last episode, too. Got a magic bean, and that should be the last one. And so if we talk to him again, he'll just be like, Oh, too bad. We're sold out. Chomp, chomp. What? Oh, these beans aren't for sale. Well, screw you. They must not be magic beans, then. Fine, whatever. So anyways, the purpose of those magic beans is to, um... You can plant them in soft soil soil patches, which of which there are ten around the world. And... Yeah, and later on, they'll be able to... You'll be able to use them for certain things. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain right now without spoiling anything, but whatever. And also, I never really explained what this Mask of Truth here does. Basically, with it, you can go around and talk to those gossip stones, you know, those things that, like, they go boing-boing like Mr. Saturn's. You can talk to them with it on, and it'll they'll tell you different random facts. I might show that in this video, I might not. So anyways, I was going to actually do a montage of those soft soil patches in this video. Oh, oh god. Ooh, look at that. Dude, I played that song totally right. What are you talking about? Yeah, so anyways. Yeah, I was, gonna, I was thinking about doing that montage in this video. But I did, but I don't know. I just don't want to put two montages that close together. So I'm going to wait a while before I do that. And instead, I'm just going to move right along with the story since there's really nothing else that we can do. So yeah, to move on with the story, it reco- ouch. That made like the whole earth shake, oh my god. That was scary. Yeah, so anyways, to make this story progress, we want to head into, into Castle Town and go over to this place that we- I don't think we visited this yet. And here's the gossip stones I'm talking about. I. I'm not going to talk to them right now, because we need all the time we can get for this upcoming cutscene. And yeah, look how realistic that looks. It looks like copied and pasted into this game. Like, just a church in the real world or something. Anyways, this is the Temple of Time. Oh yeah. Listen to that music play. Triforce symbol here. Very nice. And if you come up here onto this red carpet, there's nothing you can normally do here, but now that we have the song Time... play it, then something magical and wonderful will happen. Well, maybe. We don't know yet. Oh man, oh man, it activated something. What's gonna happen? Oh my god, I'm so scared. Douche. Oh my god. Three spiritual stones. They've come out of my head. What were they doing in there? Oh my god. Jeez, what's with that song in the background? It's like an extended song of time or something. Anyway, so those all three sit there where they will stay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. Sick. Epic win. We just opened the door of time for the will. Not very thick, but whatever. So anyways, let's come in here and... Oh, look. Another cutscene. What? Argon, isn't that? Isn't that what? Is it the Triforce? Oh my God, I want it. No, I, I, I want it. Don't, don't you go. Oh, what? It's just a sword. It's a pretty badass sword. I'll give you that. It's the legendary blade. The Master Sword. How the hell do you know about the Master Sword? Like, I never understood that. But whatever. Let's just go up, grab it. Okay. Sure. It's here. Why not? I'm curious. What's this gonna do? Wow. Link just pulled that out like it was nothing. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh, I have a bad feeling, I have a bad feeling. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, excellent work. As I thought, you have the keys to the door of time. God damn it. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Damn you, Ganondorf. Yes, I would all you, kid. 
I swear on my life, I will have my revenge. Man, that voice is so gonna clash. I mean, that. Well, yeah, the voice is so gonna clash with that laugh. Argon, wake up, Argon, the chosen one. This cutscene is kind of epic. That's coming up right here, and it's really story revealing. I hope we have enough time for it in this video. But I'm just gonna kind of shut up while it goes on. So yeah. Well, I guess I can talk right now because there's really nothing going on. I'm just in some random place. Like, am I on drugs or what? What the hell? Dude, this is creepy. Dude, it's a fat man! Oh my god. It looks like an orange. I am Raru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the Sacred Realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the Sacred Realm. Argon, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. I see you, Navi. What? 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 Look, Argon, you're big now. You've grown up. What? What? The Master Sword is a sacred blade with which evil may never touch. Only one worthy of the title, Hero of Time, can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years- Oh my god, no. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. Well, do you understand your destiny? I guess so, but I'm still fucking confused, man. Though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Janendorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the King of Evil. Well, that sucks. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters, and it transformed you into a full-bloomed man. I don't know where I was going with that, sorry. My power has only little influence even in this sacred realm, namely the ch this chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Raru, am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time, chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you, and find the power of the other sages, and add their might to your own. And we get the first of what I believe is seven? Yeah, it looks like seven. No, maybe six, I'm not sure. You received the Light Medallion. Roar the Sage adds his power to yours. Cool, we didn't even have to do anything, except sit through that long-ass cutscene. Find the other Sages and then save Hyrule. Fun fact, Roru is the name of a town in Zelda 2, but I digress. Anyways, so that's that and... I'm, I'm still... What? Seven years in the future. Dude, no. It's not possible. It's not po Oh my god, I'm so tall. My god. Why isn't Navi dead yet? Argon, we're back in the Temple of Time. But have seven years really passed? I don't know. Why aren't you dead? Did you just keep reviving yourself because you're a fairy? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the- Oh. Aw. Uh, why can't I use a boomerang? I think you can still use Deku Nuts, just not Deku Sticks. And Deku Nuts are fun, so that's good. Oh my god, scary man. Dude. Link has ESP. Dude. What are you doing? Oh my god. You're scary. I've been waiting for you, hero of time. Who is this guy? When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five in in the five temples. One in a deep forest. One on a high mountain. Five guesses. Three guesses to what that is. 
One under a vast lake. Three guesses for that as well. One within the house of the dead. One inside a goddess of the sand. What? Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return light, uh, the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. Who is this guy? And where does he come from? We know that he comes from the Sheikah, but... Just who the hell is this, and wh where and when are we? That'll all be answered next time in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm sorry, but I know this cutscene drags on for a little longer, and we don't have time. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.